What's up? This is a little game that I play on mobile. I really like it. It's called um, Cottage B-Ball Coach 2. Um, it's an old game. It's not even being updated um, recently, but I wanted to just go through my recruiting process. I seen a video a long time ago. Somebody was doing recruiting, and it was just horrible. And then I seen the other person do it on the video, and it was pretty cool. But um, And I know it's a few people on Reddit that still play this game. I just wanted to jump in right now and just go through my recruiting process. So, um, I usually, when I first start playing, and actually anytime I play, I start with a low level team. And I uh, always play the female side. So, this is going to be a female college basketball recruiting video. And. And the hardest part of me playing this game to start off, you have to play through a whole season and then recruit. I wish they would have it to where you can recruit first, but like I say, the developer is not even developing this uh, app anymore. Anyway, so now I'll always do it like this. Now I'm gonna just leave it at 100 because I'm starting with at a one star school. So, so we're gonna set it on UC Santa Barbara. And I think that's the school I usually start with because it's a um, West Coast one star program. So let's go with that. I actually run a spreadsheet for my team. So first, let me go over to my spreadsheet. Well, let me fill out my roster. So let's go back. And we had one, two, three, four, five six seniors graduate so I got a whole bunch of scholarships to give out so I'm just gonna go for everybody these are all my returning players right here and this is the year they're going to be for the next season and I put their rating their hometown height position I think I got all these positions right these will be my starters I'm pretty sure none of these are gonna start so I'm probably gonna go have a fab five more than likely here we go although I have seven uh, scholarship offers there's a way to offer more than the scholarships that you have and it's pretty much once you do seven offers, just get out of the game, restart it, even force stop if you have to, but restart it, and then it'll allow you to send more scholarships. I don't know if that's a glitch, but it should be that way because in reality, you can actually not renew somebody's scholarship and say, we, we encourage you to go to another school to free up scholarships, so... The first thing I always do is search for recruits, of course, and I always go to top five or greater. And since I'm recruiting everybody, I'm just gonna go ahead and search. Sometimes I like to do a solid point guard, a solid center, and a small forward that can shoot or have a shooting tendency. But right now, since we're going for everybody, let's just do it. So I'm going to go ahead and search. Let's go with this center first because they're in our region. And I really like good centers. So, so I'm going to go ahead and send a scout. And I always like for practice to be at least seven or above. Otherwise, I really don't mess with them. Right off just sending the scout, we got practice nine, potential nine. And so, I don't like this free throws, but with the practice, we'll get that up. And technically, I like straight centers, not center slash power four, but we're just rebuilding. So, 
Let's go ahead and watch a recruit scheme. Defense is good enough. I would like to know what those offensive rebounds is like, but we're just going to go ahead and send a letter of entrance, a letter of interest. And now I'm going to go to my spreadsheet. That's the first person we have on our sites. Let's check, let's check E Fortune out. We're top of her list, so. And I'll see, she got nice defensive rebounds, so let's send a scout. Practice six, potential seven. Uh, we're gonna hold off on her for now. I need a point guard. Just filter with po to point guard. And, hmm. Let's try her real quick. We're gonna send a scout. Potential nine. Watch some video. Or watch a game. Everything's looking good. I need to see what that practice is looking like. So we're gonna call our coach. Still don't know. Let's view some video. Go on the internet. Do some online research. Practice is seven. I don't like her defensive rebound, but she's a point guard. And she's actually a shooting guard slash point guard. So eh, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and um send a letter of interest. Let's go to our spreadsheet. New Jersey. We'll fix it later if it's wrong. Anyways. All right. go back to the game and you know what here's here's a here's a shooting or a small forward that Tennessee has tendencies to shoot so we're going to send a scout out practices nine that's good watch well, recruit video everything's looking good so far let's call it Kosi what's really up with her we don't know about our potential let's do some online research Still don't know. Review some more video. Potential nine, definitely. Go to our spreadsheet. New York, New York. Sometimes I have to resort to getting international players. It's harder to recruit them because you use more points, but we're gonna go with, she's not really our cup of tea but we're gonna send a scout out anyway just to check her out practice six not really our cup of tea so we're gonna hold off on her for now power forward let's go ahead and send a scout out potential eight about to recruit's game seven you know what let's just go ahead and send a letter of interest Let's just go down the line. Shooting for practice. Okay, we ain't even did no recruiting on her and she's practiced, so I don't know why we're sleeping on her. Let's send a scout out. Okay. Okay. Definitely. I don't care what our defense is because we'll we'll work on that. Practice 10, potential 10, you can't beat that. That's almost guaranteed every time you practice with her during the season that she'll improve. She's international. Ooh, but hey, we gotta go for that. That's gonna that's gonna be a lot of recruitment points, but whatever. She's only eight overall. We'll go for that though. We'll go for that. No problem. Might as well go with her. And we don't have much points to spend, so we were just gonna review video. We're not gonna even put her on our spreadsheet. 
But these are our recruits. This is what we're looking at right now. So that's five, and we got seven scholarships to work with, so. We're gonna finish round one, and no one's announcing soon or anything like that or committed somewhere else. So we continue. Now for round two, I'm looking at what their recruiting situation has been like. And so far, just off the bat, we're not in the lead of in, in, in recruiting entities, young ladies. And that's to be expected. So we're going to go to search recruits. Now, referring to my spreadsheet I know I really want that center and that's Goldsmith now it looks like St. John has jumped on her big time and let me just rewind I never offer a recruit a scholarship Generally, early on in recruiting or until they are about to announce. I really want this center. So the first thing I want to do is give her a call. We jump up a little bit. Let's call a coach. And what I usually do when I'm recruiting, I'll watch a recruit game and then send the scout. Then the next round, call a coach. Then the next round, watch recruit, send a scout. Because I want to have some sort of action all 12 rounds if the recruiting, recruiting process go all 12 rounds. Since I didn't call a coach this first time, I'm going to go ahead and call the coach. We moved up a little bit. And since she's about to announce, we're going to go ahead and offer her a scholarship. That jumped us up big time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my spreadsheet. And what I do is for Goldsmith, I put her in bold. That means I offered her a scholarship. Let's go back to the game. Now, this is something that I don't think other people do. I'm going to change interest to any and I'm going to switch status to not recruited. And sometimes even as late as the sixth round, you have high level ranked players not recruited. And usually, it's, I think in my head, they have attitude problems, grades, they don't practice too well. I don't know. But we're going to go to see if we got a center that wasn't recruited or a point guard. And right now, I see a center who's also announcing soon. I wish I had a point guard that was on this list. You know what? Let's let's go ahead and see if we got some point guards that wasn't recruited. Hmm. Free throws 10. A straight point guard. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and do it. Practice six. Offense six, defensive seven. She's definitely not getting recruited by us. Get her out of here. Let's go. Okay, let's go ahead. Whatever.
We're looking for practice and potential. Potential's good. Let's call a coach, online research, and at this point, we spent too much time on her. But D Brokolis, I'm not gonna even put her on, actually, you know what? So, we messed with Goldsmith a little bit. Where's Regis? And LSU is high on her. So, it's, it, it gets rough when I got a lot of scholarships to work with and a lot of people to feel with, especially when I'm trying to go this high level. So I know at some point I'm gonna have to dumb down and go to like overall eights. I hate recruiting overall sevens. I, I just, it's, it's really difficult for me to do that. But we're gonna go with her. Let's give her a call, see what she's talking about. We done did all of these. So let's go ahead with call a coach, try to get a little bit of influence she's not really gonna announce soon so let's just go ahead and email her text her just to stay in the ball game and Anderson I like to call my recruits so let's go ahead and give her a call and we're really we're right up there so Let's go ahead and give her a call. We're in a lead. We'll go ahead and send her a text. We're old school dude, so we'll send her an email. And that's good. What was that? Rohanda, Ron, Ron, Rondo, Raho. Okay. Tosa's really on her. We're gonna give her a call. That jumps us up a little bit. Since we did watch recruit game and send scout and didn't do call coach, we're gonna do call coach. Jumped us up a little bit. Let's go ahead and email and text. That's got us in second. She's not announcing anytime soon, so Luthrell. Okay. Look like Maris is really trying to get their meat hooks into her. So let's go ahead and give her a call. That didn't do much. Let's call coach. She don't look like she's really feeling us with her this round. No action with fortune. Practice six, no. We already offered her. That's that center of ours that we was looking for, right? Let's just finish it out with that and that. Okay, let's go to Goldsmith. And to see now, at this point, we might have to get off of the Goldsmith thing because St. John's has offered her. They're two star, we're one star. And look at the entrance. Look how low we're there. So we, I should have wrote down that other center's name. Let's see about, let's see who's on a not recruited. Board. Just about to announce soon. Recovery passing. Is FEO the one that I was looking at before? I don't think so, but she's announcing soon. She's a nine overall. We're going to send a Scout out. That's good enough for me. Practice seven, potential 10. Let's go ahead and 
both offenses and defenses over uh, is seven or above. So not only are we going to send a letter interest, we're going to offer her a scholarship. Now let's go to our special. And we have offered her. Let's go back to the game. It's the outside small forward. Let's potential 10. Recovery. Let's call it coach. Come on. Practice. And you know what? Now we're going to send her a letter of interest. Power forward. Let's go ahead and send a recruit. Watch that. Call coach. Practice four. You will not be recruited by us. Thank you very much. Now, we wasted a lot of our recruiting points. So, was that was that Regis that seemed like she ain't feeling us? Was that Regis? No. We better we better stay on the ball with her. This. Call a recruit. I'm trying to stay active in our recruitment. Let's go ahead and email her, text her. You know what? Let's go ahead and watch a game and send a scout out. Get us a little bit of leverage. Ian Anderson. Let's go ahead and give her a call. Oh, and she's announcing soon too. Dang it. Mistakes were made, but we're gonna go ahead and offer her of no action Tulsa. Dang, see, I, I spent all that time on those people that wasn't being recruited that I neglected my people that I was first going out for, but hopefully no one's going to, like, commit this soon. So let's just go ahead and call our coach, try to get in a good word with her. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and offer her since she's announcing soon. And let's just go ahead and watch a recruit game. Get us a little bit of leverage. And let's finish the round three. Now everybody's announcing soon. Everybody's announcing soon. So it looks like D. Johnson, who we said we were just going to keep our eye out on, we're in top contenders. Rohot Hall. And now she's got a bunch of offers and she's announcing soon and we're in the bottom of the pack. But that's not the center that I was actually going for up front. F here, we offered her. So, and we're in the lead right now. Only offer. Goldsmith is just not filling us, man. And you know what? She's a number... 20 ranked center and F Hill is the number 19th ranked center 112 overall Goldsmith is 117 overall so this is what we're going to do she is she is not no longer on our recruiting now, because I have so many uh, scholarships to spare, I'm not going to rescind the scholarship yet because she may wait all the way to 12, the 12th round. 
But right now, our center that we want is F Hill. Let's go ahead and send a scout again. Practice is seven. She's good to go. D Johnson, you're offered. Even though you're not announcing soon, we're just going to stay on top of the game. We're not going to lose this recruit. When I have less roster spots open, I can invest more into recruiting these ladies, but uh uh. Lutro, we're. Um, and she's international. Okay. We're crossing her out, so. You know what? We have to. Offer her. Let's attend a game because they really like you when you. And dang. That didn't do much of anything. But at least we got an offering. So offering. She's, she's announcing soon, but we're like way down. So let's just go with Anderson. Anderson, let's go ahead and attend a game. That didn't get us. Oh, that got us barely over her. And you know what? Let's just do something real quick. is shooting forward not recruited and she's announcing soon let's do some online research potential eight defense is eight you got a, a, a overall nine that's not international. No one's on her. We're going to send a letter of interest. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and offer her. That This is just a... a, a we're just going to... You know what? No. Well, it, it doesn't... So it doesn't cost us anything to offer. So we're going to go ahead and offer her. So let's switch over to the spreadsheet. All right. Let's switch back. And of course, Goldsmith. Committed to St. John's. Now, this is usually how. So now I got her, although I had her crossed out. Let's go ahead and strike her out because I did cross her out. She ended up committing to St. John's. Now I don't really recount that as losing a recruit because I stopped I got out of our I got out of the recruiting business with her. Okay, this is usually how I do it. 75 overall, 19 position rank. We're not gonna even mess with her recruiting for now. F Hill. Now she's got an offer from Western Illinois. So we got to start paying attention to her. She is 112 overall, 19th rank in her position. And we've already lost Goldsmith, who we kind of got out of the business with her. And Roll Helio. Let's, you know, let's go with Roll Helio. 
Where is Rogelio? Rogelio is 93 and 16, and F Hill is 112 and 19. And we're way at the bottom, and she got all these other interests. She's announcing soon. We're probably going to be good with her, but we're not going to cross her out as of now. But F Hill, we're going we gonna to need to do some work with her. So we're going to, you know what? We, gonna, we got to official campus visit you. We ain't trying to lose this recruit. We already did a campus visit, so let's go ahead and official visit her. And we're going to do a home visit. Oh, and let's call her too. That might not give us enough leeway on Niagara, but we need to make sure that we're not neglecting some people. And that's our point guard. And right now, we don't really have a point guard. So let's, you know what? Let's call her and then let's call our coach. Like, what's up? Like, why are you, why are you fronting on us? Jay Camba announcing soon. That's a point guard, eight overall, six, oh, six practice. Okay. Okay. Let's call a coach. Practice. That's what we need. So now she's getting put on D. Bro. Who is? She's just a solid point guard, which is what we prefer. Freshman. She's only an eight rank recruit or eight star recruit. Let's call her eight star, whatever. Overall eight. She is 211 overall, 47 point guard. And she is from Placentia, California. We're gonna offer her, wait. Okay, but she's not renouncing soon, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's finish round five. All right, F. Hill has committed. Now, let's switch over to the spreadsheet. This is how I do this. So you see, I got F Hill committed. And this is someone that I recruited that wasn't even get recruited. That's why that's so important. So I got a, a rating nine center. That's a point guard. She's eight. Regis is 156 and 35. Bro Helio. Regis from New Jersey, just a local girl. We're gonna go ahead and offer. No, we're gonna send a letter of interest for sure. D. Johnson, we offered her. No one else is recruiting her, and I don't get that. We're not going to call her, though. We're just going to call her coach this time. Hey, Brown, we're good on you. Wait. She still ain't got an offer. We need to keep her. We might have to keep our eye out on her. Savobia, oh, we just went ahead and gave offered her. We and wow, okay, that's desperation, I guess. Okay, so 
Let's go ahead and call our coach just to see what she's actually, what she's really about. Let's go ahead and send a scout. Dang. Online research, maybe? Practice six. Great. Great. Well, we offered her, and we the only one that's offered her, so. Definitely going to probably be a role player. Center forward. We got FL. So we are out of the Rogelio business. That's one of my initial recruits that I am actually. Not recruiting. More or actively. I'm not going to rescind the scholarship though. We might be able to make a run for it near the end. Power forward. Hmm. Shooting guards. <laughs> she is. She got potential, but practice is six, and I don't like that, but I'm going to go ahead and send her a letter of interest anyways. Hollingsworth, nope, sorry. And Anderson. Okay, this is one of our original recruits from the first round that we're going after. So we're going to have to give her a call. We're going to go ahead and Watch a game. We're going to call our coach. In fact, she's really the last one that we're really actually trying to get. So we're going to put a little bit more points into her. You know what? Let's just go ahead and see if, you know what? Let's just do it. Official visit. Call her. And although I did say we're not re actor recruiting her, we're just trying to stay in the race. And all right. So, so for blue, blue, blue has committed and in Anderson so let's go over to our spreadsheet so y'all can see what we're working with and so right now that's three rank nines that has committed one that I originally went after and other ones that I got from not being recruited so Let's just go to our active recruiting people, or people on our active recruiting list. D. Johnson is a, we offered her already. No one else is recruiting her. So we're not gonna even do anything with her. Hollingsworth, ooh, ooh. Still nobody's um, recruiting her. Yeah, practice four, what do you expect? So what's the difference between these two? There's a little bit there. We haven't offered her. Where is the, I don't really, well, offensive rebounds, he's a point guard, we don't really need that. So let's call our coach. Let's call our coach. Nope, watch recruit. Dang, online research? We don't know what our recovery is. We don't know what our blocks or steals. We're going to have to send a scout. Man, what is this? We're going to attend a game. Okay. That's good. No one else is recruiting, so we're going to offer her.
We have a committed center, a committed small forward, a committed small forward slash shooting guard. So I really need a power forward and a point guard. Rogelio is a power forward center. That's probably who we need to go to, even though I got out of the business with her. That's the reason why I didn't rescind the, the offer. Hollingsworth, power forward, practice four. That, your practice is going to keep you from getting recruited. And we're the only one on you. Well, Regis is actually a shooting guard. Brokelio is a straight point guard. And I already got a, a, a small forward slash shooting guard nine committed. So we're going to go to not recruited. I don't have any returning power forwards. We got. Okay, so we have to go after this girl. We ha and I'm so behind. We just got to throw the. We got to go after her with everything. We got to go after her with everything. We're gonna have to try to make a run for her. This might be a little bit too little, too late, but we got to do it. Now, we're ending in the league out of nowhere. And I'm glad we didn't rescind the, the uh, scholarship, but we probably, we probably did. That's probably a little bit a little that's probably a little bit too little too late but let's see dang it we and we lost her mind you we did get out of her the business of recruiting her but we made that run way too late that's a mistake kind of sort of we're gonna have to go with somebody that's practiced for which I hate Eight. The good thing is, she's overall nine, but I really hate that. But right now, so Regis is, now everybody's recruiting Regis. And at this point, unfortunately, she's just not worth it. We have, actually, where's Brokilios? No one else is recruit. She's no no one else is recruiting her. So we offered her. Let's go ahead and take Regis out. D Johnson. We pretty much. Good with her. Small forward. Let's go ahead and give her a call. Why not? And I don't know why I didn't offer a West, but shooting guard. We're offering a West. Again, a person who wasn't recruited. Young lady that we're going to try to get to come to our program. She's ranked over. So, you know what? Let's call our coach. Watch some Rizzo. Send Scout. Now, see, her practice is the only thing that's I'm not liking. Let's go ahead and do some online research. Inside's good. See, She's not a bad person. She just can't practice worth the lick. Let's go ahead and watch her video. She's a solid player. And that's my mistake for... I don't like the... 
to recruit people that don't have good practice. But I mean, she's already overall nine. So it's like, I don't know why I did that. And I need a power forward and she's a solid or like a straight power forward. We're just going to, we're going to go ahead and you know what? I got to rescind somebody's scholarship. So I received, okay, there it is. So I'm rescinding her to get her. Offer recruit, yes. Brooke Helios, by the announce we don't want to recruit her, we should get her. D Johnson, we're way up there, we should get her. That'll put us at five. Hmm. Well, she's a, she's, oh, I knew about her too. Because she's practice six. But see, but I know what happened with the other person. So let's go ahead and. Her letter of interest, but a West, we're gonna just go ahead and call her. Why not? That's our point guard. Let's get her an official visit for her. Let's just spend the rest of our points out. A West, we offered her. You know what? S. Hollingsworth has committed and we're in recruiting nine. And actually, so at this point, I am going to I'm going to actually get out of the game and I'm going to load this thing back up. And now, getting out of the game and coming back in, I can go ahead and offer up to seven more times. Now, that might be a glitch, but I think it's not because technically, you can offer more than the scholarships that you have and just not have your returners not pick up their scholarship again. That's like actually how it, it really works. So, now how did TCU jump over me for D. Johnson? I don't like that. Oh, Helios. Ooh, and okay, now, okay, we got, so we in, okay. Now, I guess now that it's getting down to the, to the nitty gritty, <laughs> people want their players so now I gotta make sure that we get broke Helios our point guard so campus visit the 10 game home visit call a recruit get out of here Charleston Southern what are you doing get off our recruit so we need Broke Helios. Get off, get off D. Johnson, yo. Okay, official visit. Ooh, ooh. We we about to loot. I can't believe this. Ooh, we just edged them out. TCU might have came and got our. Ooh. Okay, Regis. Uh, 
committed to Lamar. We, you know, got a, we got of her, we got out of her business. Round ten, and let's just go to the spreadsheet real quick. So as you see, but well, we got out of her business, so we really wasn't active, actively recruiting her. But we're fighting for Broke Helios and J D Johnson right now, so. And Broke Helios, maybe maybe she's not interested no more because we keep calling her Broke Helios, but Brokeus, Brokeus, we're going all in. Attend a game, campus visit, home visit, call a recruit, call a coach to get in with her good. Oh, I shouldn't have did that last one. Attend a game. No. Home visit. Ah, why did I do that? I really don't need her now. But I kind of do. Finish round 10. Whew. Okay. Right now, we're in round 11. We got four commits. TCU is really hawking D. Johnson. We don't really like that. And... Charleston Southern is really hawking our point guard. We need the point guard. We actually need her. So we're going to go with home visit, attend a game, call a recruit, and then let's go to D. Johnson, attend a game, campus visit, gonna lose her we're gonna lose her and we so so a west we neglected we lost her to southern you but that's why you really have to stay on your recruits. But I'm happy. I'm I am happy that we got uh Brokuis Brokuis That's the one we really needed. And D Johnson TCU. TCU did a good job. At snatching that recruit from us. The main thing is we got that point guard. We got the point guard. And that's one, two, three, four, five. And we still got the last round, two recruits to go. We only have one power forward. So we're going to go with this power forward first. Ain't passing great. Okay, let's send a scout. Eight. Call coach. Watch a game. Offense is five. Point guard shooting four. Point guard. Let's go with point guard. Let's send a scout. Practice ten. Potential six. What's your offense life? Please, come on, come on. Great. We don't know what her office is like. Her practice is good. So even if it's bad and her potential is six, we should, we can still do something with it. So let's go ahead and let's go to the next recruit. A shooting forward. Or small forward, I should say. Let's send a recruit. Game. Call coach. Defense is six, but our practice we can we can work on that. Offense, what's your offense looking like? We don't know. 
you're just a filler person anyway, or filler player anyway. So point guard, you're a driving point guard. Listen to listen to Scott out. Practice six. Okay. Active recruiting. Send a little interest. Off a recruit. Send a letter of interest. Return the game. Go ahead and offer. Why not? You know what? I might as well just send a letter of interest. Send a letter of interest. We'll call her. We'll go ahead and email, text, and do some online research. Tashini and Richard. But Kofani snatched her in the very last round. All right, let's finish the season. We finished the season. These are our returners. First of all, let's go with our our commits. That's a nine. That's an eight. That's a nine. That's a nine. That's an eight. That's a nine. She's trying to walk on. No, thank you. She committed without recruiting. No, thank you. Or vice versa, something like that. Walk-ons, absolutely not. We got six players selected. We can select up to 13. We have to do at least 12. So just for ranking purposes, I'm going to go ahead and keep that eight. And now I want to look at my seniors. Seniors mean the previous season will get those scholarships. So... I'm definitely taking both of the seniors back. That way I do have scholarship out of the gate. I think it's, you get two plus an extra one. So that'll be like three people that I can throw offers at. We got nine selected. We need at least three more. We'll tell, take this junior. That's a seven, that's a seven, and none of these really look like they are promising, so I'm gonna just take all my returners, and if I don't fill that 13 slot, that's like a senior to me. So that's gonna give me three scholarships plus a fourth that I can actually send out. Now, Preseason, Big West. Let's go over to the spreadsheet. That's two. We did not have the top recruiting class or one of the top three recruiting class. Sometimes I get that, sometimes I don't. We already read that part. Our expert have them rated as the 89th ranked team. So... Let's go over to my spreadsheet. Preseason rank 89. I was gonna, I said I was gonna have a Fab Five this season. Well, F Hill, she's our JUCO player. So we do have a non-freshman in our starting lineup. There it is. That's it. That's my recruiting process. That's what we're looking like. And 